Let's talk about using color in your branding. So color is one of the most powerful tools you have when you're developing your visual brand. Color helps you bring emotion and feelings and draw attention to your brand and to your message. And the funny thing is, color choices come back to basics, to stuff that we learned in grade school art. So we're going to take a look at some of these basics. We're going to look at the color wheel, categories, schemes, and then we're going to take a closer look at color meanings. When you're getting ready to choose the specific colors that you're going to use in your brand, I want you to keep in mind Coco Chanel's advice. The best color in the whole world is the one that looks good on you. Let's walk through some color categories. Primary colors, red, blue, yellow. These are the colors that we mix together to make all the other colors. Secondary colors, red and blue, make purple. Red and yellow, making orange. Blue and yellow, making green. Tertiary colors, or primary colors mixed with a secondary color. So we get colors like red, orange, and yellow, green, and blue, green. Warm colors, reds and oranges and yellows. Cool colors, green and purple and blue. Tents, a color plus white. So here we've shown red. Shades, a color plus black. Here we have red with black added in. Let's take a look at color schemes and color palettes. So color schemes refer to this overall plan that you have for the colors that you might use in your brand. So you might want to use complementary colors or red or fall colors or neutrals. Whatever kind of scheme that expresses how you want your business to feel. Color palettes refers to specific colors that you're going to use. When you're choosing the colors for your brand, you can try out different palettes based on the common color categories that we just talked about. And you can also look at it in terms of schemes, which we're gonna talk about now. Also remember that black and white go with everything. So no matter what mix of colors you choose, you can always use white, you can always use black along with those colors. So here are some color schemes, complementary colors are opposite from each other on the color wheel. They are really great for contrast, but they're hard to use together in large doses. Analogous colors are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So they match really well, but they need contrast to create any kind of hierarchy in the design to tell your eye where to go. So if you choose to use an analogous color scheme, You'll choose one color as the main color in your palette, one as a secondary, and one as an accent. Triad. Triad colors are evenly spaced around the color wheel. If you want to use colors in this way, you use one color as your dominant color and the other two colors as an accent. Split complementary. Uses a main color and the two colors adjacent to its complementary color. So this combination is a really good contrast and it's easier to design with than a straight out complementary palette. Rectangular is two sets of complementary colors. So when you use this for your branding, you choose a dominant color and the other three are used as accents. Square, four colors placed evenly from each other on the color wheel. So if you use this in your branding, you're gonna choose one as your dominant color and you're gonna use the other three as accents. If you wanted a warm feel, for example, you would choose the warm color as the dominant color. So that's basic, that's basic color categories and color schemes that you can play around with using the color wheel. Let's talk about common color meanings and brands that use specific colors. I want you also to keep in mind that Colors can mean different things in different cultures. So always take into account 
your target market and your audience when you're choosing the colors, as well as the color meanings, and as well as just your own personal taste. Red, love, action, blood, danger, excitement, energy, command, hot, sexy, Christmas. Some of the brands that use red, Coca-Cola, Target, Wendy's, Xerox, Virgin, Louis Vuitton, Orange. Friendly, warm, helpful, fun, affordable, creativity, fire, warning, Halloween. Some of the brands that use orange, Etsy, Home Depot, Nickelodeon, Payless, Shutterfly, Rocket Dog, Amazon. Yellow, young, sunshine, summer, caution, happiness, bright, cheerful, coward, sick, brands, Bic, Best Buy, Post-it, Yellow Pages, McDonald's, Ikea, Green, Earth, Money, Natural, Growth, Jealousy, Health. Some of the brands are Starbucks, John Deere, Animal Planet, Mint, Garnier, British Petroleum, BP, Blue, Business, Freedom, Sky, Adventure, Lucky, Safe, Technology, Depth, Educated, Cool. Some of the brands that use blue, Facebook, Skype, Intel, Twitter, LinkedIn, Tiffany & Company. Blue is the most popular brand color. Purple, Royal, Decadent, Supernatural, Intelligent, Elegant. Some of the brands that use purple, Yahoo, Hallmark, Roku, Cadbury, Prince, Pink, Femininity, Love, some of the brands that use pink, Victoria's Secret, Breast Cancer Awareness, Barbie, T-Mobile, Brown, Earth, Rustic, Warm, Natural, M&M's and UPS use brown, Black, Neutral, Serious, Prestige, Timelessness, Chanel, Apple, 007, White, Purity, Nobility, the World Wildlife Foundation uses white. Multicolor, Google, Windows, eBay all have multicolor logos. So you see that there are very successful businesses with brand colors to represent pretty much every color of the rainbow. So if you have a great brand foundation, you can pull off almost any color. Our next step is to create a mood board for your brand. And specifically today, you're going to be focusing on color. I want you to pick colors that speak to you, that convey the feelings you want your clients and potential clients to have when they interact with your visual brand. And I want you to keep in mind, again, color is a very personal choice. What looks good on your business will not look good on somebody else's business. So eyes on your own paper and figure out what works for you. Get out there, pick some colors. 